Let's apply the same principle now to spouses, to spousal relationships and marriage. Very often, a relationship can get into a rut, to rituals, routines, patterns, never good. Relationships need to be dynamic. Do you have the courage to revisit and then replug? And that requires challenging yourself first, not just blaming everything on your partner, challenging yourself first and looking at it with a fresh set of eyes, maybe getting some objective advice. You're revisiting it. It's the beginning, revisit. No commitments yet. Once you see there's an opportunity, you see a new perspective, then replug, re-engage. You'll always be surprised at results. And from the microcosm, let's carry it now to the macrocosm. If we can do this individually with the people we care about, we can also do it in our communities, in our cities. And essentially this is the counterforce to all forms of divisiveness, misunderstandings, difference of opinion, the power to revisit and then replug. Now remember, replug is just beginning anew. There are more stages. We'll be talking about rebooting and reclaiming. But you can't get there if you don't first revisit. That's what's required, especially in challenging times, where there's the pandemic of COVID-19, the pandemic without, or the pandemic within, within our spirits, our souls, our attitudes, our racial attitudes, our anger and rage. It's an opportunity to revisit with a goal of replugging and re-engaging. And we do that, it sets in motion, it triggers a whole bunch of reactions that together can actually change attitudes and ultimately change communities and change our lives for the better. This is what is required in times like this. This is how a leader thinks. This is how a proactive soul thinks. We're not victims. We control our destiny.